Hey girl, welcome back. Today we're doing my updated 2023 Oily Girl Makeup Routine. I have found some amazing products for oily combo skin recently. So I wanted to do an updated routine for you guys and share these products with you in a full face look. So let's get into the video. Starting with primer, I love using a nice mattifying primer. The one that I've been using lately is from Milk. I really love this primer. It helps my makeup stay on really long. I actually do love this primer as well for keeping my makeup on for a long time what i like to do next if i'm gonna be out for a long time is actually set my primer with a little bit of setting powder so i have this one from one size i'm gonna use i have a ton of different setting powders that i really love this one's really great for oily combo skin so we're gonna use this i like using these little triangle things these are from amazon i'm gonna put a little bit of powder you want very minimal i'm using very little powder for this step by the way not too much especially around my nose i tend to get very oily but i don't want to put any like right under here because that area is actually a little bit dry not dry maybe like more normal for me i don't think anywhere on my skin is dry it's just i have normal skin and then oily skin <laughs> i know some people deal with dry and oily in certain parts of their face so once that's done i'm gonna go in with my foundation now for this you could either do underpainting which is really popular right now but I personally am going to just do foundation today because I don't know that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to use a new foundation if you saw I did re I did a review on this last week or this week I, I think it was last week so this is the new KVZ foundation and if you have oily combo skin this is definitely your 2023 bestie okay I think this is amazing for oily combo skin I used the shade 1076 in this foundation I'm going to put it on my beauty sponge i just did two pumps to start and then i'm gonna add some more as i go so this match is actually really really good so i'm gonna just blend it in the coverage is insane for this the first time i use it i don't think i use so much i use like a little like a really thin layer so i don't know if you guys really saw how full the coverage was because i got a lot of questions asking like what kind of coverage it gave but this can be full coverage if you add a couple more layers you can definitely get a very full coverage look i also noticed a couple people review it who had dry skin and they were saying like it was not cute on them which i can definitely see that this is not a foundation i would say dry skin people will love like you will probably hate it but the rest of us as you can see, this pretty much covered everything. I have a couple of things right here that I can add another layer to get covered even more, but I'm not going to do that. I feel like it's fine. I'm going to do concealer. With oily skin, you definitely do not want to add unnecessary layers of product. Less is more. So just use as much as you need to get the coverage you want. And then for other areas like under my eyes, I'm going to do concealer to help conceal that. If I'm going to be out for a really long time, one thing I like to do at this point is actually spray my face. So I'm going to use this MAC Fix Plus stay over spray i love this and i also uh, and i also love the charlotte Tilbury. you guys if you know if you know you know they work amazing they definitely help my makeup last a lot longer i'm gonna do my huda beauty concealer i'm just gonna keep this right under my eye how many of you guys tried the new urban decay quickie concealer i think it's called from urban decay let me know what your thoughts are on it if you've tried it. I kind of want to try it, but I'm not sure. Concealer is something I tend to stick with once I find a good one. I don't really uh, <laughs> venture off too far. <laughs> I'm going to let my under eye sit for a little bit longer, but I'm going to start blending out the rest of my face. So like down here. My forehead. Okay, and then I'm using this side of the sponge to blend this under eye. I always look up so I can get closer to my under eye area. Like, it's impossible for me to look down and blend my under eye. I have to look up. <laughs> I'm going to add some to my eyelid as well just to even it out. Something that's a little new and different from my routine is adding pressed powder under my eye before doing loose powder. Today I'm using the Juvia's Place pressed powder. This is amazing for oily skin. I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a foundation powder for oily combo. 
I'm taking my little triangle friend. This is the shade Cameroon, by the way. So we're just gonna press it under my eye. I feel like it looks crazy at first, but then it ends up looking perfect. I'm gonna use this shade wherever I applied concealer. So it's gonna help brighten my face. This is not my all over shade. It's definitely like a lighter shade for my complexion. I am gonna add some to my nose bridge as well. And also on my eyelid, okay. I'm gonna use the Refi Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade Black, I think. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this to just fill my brows in real quick and I'll be right back. Did my brows. So we're gonna go back into a little bit of setting powder. And this is to kind of bake a little bit. Most of it goes in the back of my hand. And then whatever is left. And then I'm gonna use a little bit like right here. On the side of my nose. A very tiny amount. I also like to get like right around this area. If I don't pay special attention, this area always breaks up. Next up is one of my favorite parts of makeup and it's a bronzer. We're using Charlotte Silberry Bronzer. I'm gonna take this brush from BK Beauty and go in here. I just like to put this everywhere, really. There's nothing that a little bronzer can't fix, you know? For the rest of my face, I'm going to use a setting powder and I'm going to use this one from NARS. Girl. This is another 2023 makeup drop that is amazing for oily combo skin. I highly recommend it. I'm using this brush from BK Beauty. I'm going to apply this like right around my face. Generally speaking, I don't get too much oil around this area, but I'm just going to use this powder. I'm also going to use it to start dusting off a little bit of the... Um, baking powder that I used This powder and the Juvia's Place are a little different. Juvia's Place is a foundation powder. This is a setting powder So they're two different things, but they definitely are both mattifying So I'm using this beautiful orange blush from Juvia's Place. This one is um, Rouge this one is number six volume six such a pretty color. This is a matte blush, but it has a little bit of sparkle, which is like my favorite type of situation if I want more of a matte look. And I'm using a Sigma F10 brush to apply it. I think this is a blush, yeah, blush brush. This looks scary in the container, but once you apply it, it's so pretty. We're doing bronzer for eyeshadow today. That's what we're doing. I'm just going to apply this in my crease and blend it out. I don't know what's on this brush, but it definitely has some sparkle. <laughs> what's on here? <laughs> that was unplanned, but it looks really good. So we're going to keep it. We're doing mascara. I'm using my L'Oreal. I really love this stuff. Despite the controversy, it's actually really good. I'm gonna do lashes today, so I'm not gonna, you know, do too many layers of this. I'm gonna use the Ardell 421. I believe these are the naked lashes. I'm gonna put these on. I'm gonna do my lips before taking off the excess powders. I'm using the Lip Bars Lip Liner in Straight Living, so I'm gonna use this. Also using a little mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna use my finger to soften the edges. And then for lips, I'm using my lip peptide. I love these things. I'm gonna just use a little brush to take off the excess powder. I'm taking the smallest amount of bronzer, I'm gonna also do a little bit of nose contour. I'm gonna spray my face one more time with the Max Stay Over. Maybe more like a million. One last trick is to use my favorite blotting powder to just set everything. So I personally love the All Nighter from Urban Decay. I also really love the Locket powder. This is their blotting powder. This is in deep. This one's translucent, so I'm gonna use it in the center of my face. I'm gonna use it in the center of my face. This is a translucent shade. This just really helps seal the deal. And also, you can carry it along with you and reapply it 
throughout the day if you're going out for a while you can use it hold on wait a minute and you thought i was finished the last thing i'm gonna do is add a little bit of highlight um i'm gonna use this one is from charlotte Salberry, and this is how you can fake some glow if you have oily skin and you want a little bit of glow you can just add some highlighter to fake the glow and a little bit of highlighter will definitely help you look nice and glowy without actually being glowy this is the finished look so this is my updated oily girl makeup routine for 2023 i hope you guys enjoyed it got some tips some products you can try out let me know what your favorite products are and i'll see you in my next video bye